in go to hell news a little puppy was shot 18 times with a bb gun and this is the worst abuse case that this animal hospital has ever seen now this is absolutely awful because i have a puppy right here she is four years old she well, she's a mini dachshund i have another one who is who is a boy he is i think 13 or 14 years old um i had two other ones that have passed away one of them i think was around four or five um, another one was getting pretty old. He was like 14 or 15. Then I also have seven, eight, nine cats, something like that. Um, anyway, back to the article. Any animal abuse absolutely tears me up inside because since I have so many animals, I do like, I do love it like animals, and I will have animals in my life for basically the rest of my life. So a defenseless puppy was tortured by a gang of up to 20 youth, youths and, and was shot with a BB gun more than a dozen times. Now they only say later on in the article that it was only. A only a 14 and 17 year old, which I don't understand if it says it was a gang of 20 youths, like 20 kids. So I'm not quite sure. And I do not know if they mentioned the puppies um, age in this article. I, I'm not sure of that. But in a ba an abandoned Labrador mixed puppy was shot 18 times or over a dozen times with, with a BB gun in a horrific animal abuse case who was set to make a miraculous recovery, which means the dog is going to make a miraculous recovery, which is absolutely amazing. If he died, then that would have been absolutely awful, but luckily he is going to survive and make it, but the, the pictures that I've seen from this article is absolutely crazy, like how many um, patches that he has from where he got shot, and he was actually bleeding, um, but luckily the people at, at this animal hospital um, nurtured him and brought him back to good health, and he's going to make a full recovery, which is amazing. So animal officers at the... Es Eb I have no clue how to say this. Eb Nezer Animal Hospital, which an abbreviation for that is how I'm going to be referring to it in this article is E A H, which is just the the first three um, letters of each word. And this is lo located in Rocky Hill, California. And the people that work at this animal hospital named this puppy Brody, um, and they said it was one of the worst cases that they have ever seen. And this is a quote from, or this is a post that was posted on social media. Quote, Team EAH is glad to be helping and treating little Brody, an eight-week-year-old an eight puppy who was found by Rocky Hill Police after being shot 18 times with a BB gun. Once this little guy is back on his feet, he will be looking for a home, looking for a home, so stay tuned, which is absolutely amazing to hear that somebody wants to adopt this puppy, especially since he, he that this article just arose and that so many people want to help this puppy and get this puppy a good home since he is only a puppy and only eight weeks old which is crazy so he's only two two months old so imagine i don't know how they got a hold of us a hold of a like these kids got a hold of a puppy maybe it's one of their own who knows but um they got a hold of a two two month old puppy they basically just shot it luckily they didn't, they didn't kill it i don't know if they just left it there to basically if, if their intention was to let it die i'm not quite sure but um, so two, see, like I said in the beginning, this is where it gets confusing because this is two two teenagers age 14 and 17. When but before it says a gang up 20 up to 20 youths. So I'm not quite sure if it's 20 youths or if it's the 14 and 17 year old. But regardless, these kids who are 14 and 17 have been arrested after a utility worker spotted a gang of youths with a black puppy and, re and reported it to the police. So if it wasn't if it wasn't for this utility worker, they might have actually kill the puppy but I think this utility worker might have spooked them off and somehow the these two were the one out of the game that I got caught I'm not sure but but yeah the the utility worker spotted the youths with a puppy and they then they called the police an officer who arrived at the at the scene found the dog bleeding so if nobody spotted him and the dogs just left him to die who, who knows if the if the utility worker didn't even call um they, the, they most likely would have shot the puppy more and most likely the puppy would have died um, even if they just left the puppy to bleed, it most likely would have died also. So April Splon, who calls the animal hospital called told WSOC, which I'm assuming is a local news station out in California. Um, quote, he seems to he seems like he is going to pull through. He's a strong boy, he's really, really sweet. And quote, which from the pictures in the video that is on the website, which I'm not sure if it's copyright or not, so I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be posting it, but if you guys wanna look at that video, the link is down below. Um Dr. J. Hearn said, quote, there's no doubt here that this is one of the worst acts I've ever seen, and it's pretty hard to think that someone could do could be capable of, capable of doing this to an animal this young and defenseless, end quote. Which, doing this to any animal, regardless of if it's a 
dog, pig, horse, whatever kind of animal it is, it's just not right to do it to abuse an animal regardless of what it is. Um, that's why I'm never going to abuse an animal. Like, how, how mentally messed up do you have to be to abuse a defenseless animal like that? It's just like, it's not even, I can't fathom with it. Even if like a dog, like a dog is trying to bite me, I'm still not gonna like kick it or whatever. Even though that might sound stupid, because I might get injured or killed by it. Like say if it's a pit bull or something, but I'm just gonna do my best to get away from it. I'm not gonna kill it, even though it's trying to hurt me. That's just personally how I would act. The hospital says it has already received hundreds of calls for from animal lovers who want to adopt the you know, puppy. Staff is asking callers to adopt one of the many other abandoned dogs that they abandoned dogs that they look after now I think I read somewhere that on, on a different website that this that this dog actually has a that they actually found a home with a with a little girl um like in the the parents have like a daughter like a little daughter so that's really good that this dog already found a home um if you guys want to read up on this article more the link is down below um basically, basically the the whole point of the story is don't abuse your animals if you do you're gonna get caught and most likely these kids are gonna go to jail at some point um, I don't know if they're going to be tried as adults or kids. Regardless, they're gonna, hopefully they're going to prison for a long time for animal abuse. So like, like I said, the link is down below for this article. The link for last week's news article is also down below if you want to check that out. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys next week. Peace. In Don't Trust the Internet News, woman accused of cutting unborn baby from the womb, which is absolutely crazy. Um, a Colorado woman named Michelle Wilkins tells the court